The highest peak in progesterone level is seen at just before ovulation, between ovulation and menstrual phase, when LH rises, when graphene follicle develops. So yes, uh, if we just try to understand the whole uh, uterine cycle or the endometrial cycle as well as the ovarian cycle of the female. So uh, we can read this with the help of this particular figure and we can get an idea that uh, from day 1 of the menstruation to the day 5 it is known as the menstrual phase okay so this is going to be the day 1 and from day 1 to day 5 till here almost you are going to have the menstrual phase okay now between 5 to 14 between 5 to 14 there will be a proliferative phase or if we uh, say in the uh, case of ovarian phase so it is called as the follicular phase okay in case of ovarian cycle we will call it as follicular phase otherwise we call it as proliferative phase because in this particular time period till here the endometrium this is the wall of the endometrium or the endometrial wall it is going to cause what keep on proliferating and after that after 14th day or on the 14th day what happens there occurs the ovulation okay there is ovulation and you have a corpus luteum that will be formed after the ovulation and the ovum is released from the graphene follicle okay and then you start getting the maintenance phase or what we call is the secretory phase in this particular case where you want to maintain the all the efforts are made in the direction of maintaining the endometrial thickness so that it can be ready to uh, implant the zygote or to implant the fertilized egg right and later it can help in uh, sustaining the pregnancy again i'll try to uh, explain it with the help of the follicle follicle so actually what happens the graphene follicle keep on maturing until 14th day of the menstrual cycle and after that on the 14th day you get the ovulation and the ovum is released from this particular follicle and till this particular phase the estrogen generally is released so this particular phase is rich in estrogen while after 14th day of uh, uh, menstrual period where ovum has been released now there will be a phase where you will get the corpus luteum so after releasing ovum the whole follicle lining will be forming a vestigial organ that is initially known as corpus hematologium but later it is known as the uh, yellowish form and that is known as the corpus luteum so yes we call the ruptured follicle which is filled with blood is known as the corpus hemorrhagicum while the corpus luteum will be formed later into the yellowish thickness now what is the importance of this corpus luteum this corpus luteum releases two important hormone one is known as your progesterone which is very important for maintaining the thickness of the endometrium while the another is known as the corpus uh, the corpus luteum another one is going to be the estrogen that helps in the maintenance uh, that helps in the proliferation or strengthening of your uh, endometrial thickening right now this particular phase this whole phase up till here is known as the luteal phase it is known as the luteal phase because that is dominated by the corpus luteum later which keeps on involucring and later this particular corpus luteum uh, finally vanished and it gets out of the body right now until here until the corpus luteum has been secreting the progesterone this is making the thickness of the endometrium constant and it prepares the endometrium to get the implantation of the fertilized egg or the implantation of the zygote into the uterine cavity and that is known as the gravid phase where you get the implanted embryo okay so i hope this is very much clear till here now if you see this particular 14th day it is just the day of the ovulation and just after ovulation you will have the corpus luteum and this corpus luteum will be secreting our hormone of the entire that is known as the progesterone 
and that's what is asked in the question the highest peak in progesterone level is seen at between ovulation and menstrual phase just after ovulation the corpus luteum starts releasing the progesterone as well as estrogen also but yes progesterone will be in the highest peak after just after the ovulation so between ovulation and menstrual phase you can say the highest peak in progesterone level is going to be seen so correct answer is option 2 that is between ovulation and menstrual phase